Second Amendment supporter and mass shooting survivor Kyle Cash have recently learned that he is top in his class and well on his way to becoming valedictorian at next year's graduation. Some of his anti-gun peers have already threatened to boycott the event if, indeed, he does become the valedictorian, though. His reply to their despicable boycott was pure gold. In the aftermath of the Valentine's Day massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, several student survivors of the shooting have become public advocates for stricter gun laws. The mainstream media has given these students, most notably, David Hugg, untold amounts of screen time. Hugg isn't the only shooting survivor with an opinion, though, albeit he may be the only one the liberal media cares to recognize. MSD shooting survivor Kyle Cash have also emerged as a strong voice in the gun control debate, but he is pro-Second Amendment, so he doesn't get the kind of attention Hogg is offered from mainstream sources. Cash have, however, is far more intelligent than his anti-gun peers. He was recently informed that he is number one in his class out of 856 students. So, the smartest kid at MSD doesn't think that taking guns away from law-abiding citizens will decrease gun violence or stop school shootings. Let that sink in for a moment. Meanwhile, Kashev's anti-gun counterpart, David Hugg, was rejected from college after college for his mediocre grades. When a school, UC Irvine, finally accepted Hugg, it was revealed that the college has a 40.7% admission rate. Not exactly prestigious. Hogg ultimately decided to take a gap year, much like Malia Obama, in order to continue pursuing his activism. Apparently, no one has told him that activism is not a career. With all of the evidence strongly suggesting that Kyle Kashev is actually going places, while David Hogg is on minute 1459 of his 15 minutes of fame, it would seem like a shrewd decision for other MSD students to do as Kashev has done, namely, to keep their heads down and focus on their studies instead of getting caught up in anti-gun school walkouts. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like Kashev's classmates are going to take his lead. In fact, they're not even going to take the high road and congratulate him for earning the distinct honor of being top in his class. No sooner had Kashev received the incredible news, he was told that a bunch of students said they're boycotting graduation next year if I'm valedictorian. Kashev had an expert comeback for all of his haters, though, tweeting, can't wait to have extra cake. This isn't the first time Kashev has destroyed a boycott before it even began. In fact, he seems to be getting quite good at it. Last month, Hogg attempted to organize a boycott of two companies which invest in gun manufacturers, tweeting, at BlackRock and at Vanguard Group are two of the biggest investors in gun manufacturers, if you use them, feel free to let them know. Thanks. He added the hashtags number because Vanguard and number because BlackRock. There's just one little problem with this, though. As Kashev pointed out, at D A V I D H O G G111, at BlackRock owns part of Twitter. Time to fully boycott BlackRock and log off Twitter. Bye. In David Hogg's defense, it must be hard to go up against someone as intelligent as Kyle Kashev. As for the rest of the students at MSD, they're going to need to grow some thicker skin if they're ever going to survive in the real world. Threatening to boycott their own graduation simply because the student who has earned the title of valedictorian supports the Second Amendment is just sad. It sounds like these misguided teens could use a good old-fashioned reality check.
it speaks volumes that they will throw a tantrum and boycott, but no one has had the bright idea that if they don't want Kashyap to be valedictorian, they always could try to actually beat him, but that would take a lot of hard